Hey, how are you doing? Ready for part two of History of the Lizardmen? Children of the Gods. Let's get into it. Many eons ago, the world was cold, dark, and windswept place. Ice sheets covered much of the surface, a thin equatorial band, the only region capable of sustaining much in the way of life. Savages roamed the land, battling the elements and other more ancient and evil things for survival. Who knows what inhuman civilizations rose and fell in that forgotten age, their remains now buried by the passage of time. All this changed when the old ones came to the world. These godlike beings were born when the universe itself was young. They ruled an empire that spanned not only the stars, but time itself. They were inscrutable, engineer mystics, for whom the astrology and astronomy, science and magic, reality and art, were all one and the same. Each world in the Old One's empire was linked by a gateway. Some were small portals allowing a single being to travel light years in but a step. Others, often situated in the cold void of space, were gateways so large that the mightiest of vessels could pass through. In the skies above the world, it was constructed a gate that could allow the Old One's stellar ships to come and go, bringing with them many wondrous things and many new races. So let's put that, let's put that whole idea finally to the rest. The fantasy battle world is connected to the 40k world. Universe, I should say. Uh, webway gates are on the fantasy battle world. There's a webway gate at the North Pole, which went bad, and that's the Chaos Waits. But there's also a webway gate above the planet in orbit, large enough to allow entire spaceships to come through. And they also said that the Old Ones brought their races to the planet, too. What is one of the Old One races? One of the Old One races is the Eldar, or, in this case, the High Elves, I'm guessing. Amongst humans, too, probably. And orcs, all of which were here. Uh, humans, I think, were the only ones not created by the Eldar, uh, by the Old Ones. But they're here, along, of course, with the Slan. This is a very important thing because I get a sneaking suspicion those greats are going to be useful in the coming in times. But let's move on. The Old Ones looked upon the world and saw its unique boundless potential. They decreed that the world would have a central place in their knowable plans. But before those plans could be set into motion, they determined to alter the orbit and so warm the atmosphere. In time, the ice sheets retreated, and verdant forests soon spread, covering an entirely newly revealed land. Creator Gods Upon the plains of the world, the Old Ones encountered the primitive creatures that would one day be taken up and transformed into the very first elves, dwarves, and men there you go so they weren't brought there they were created literally there on the planet they found other creatures too beings whose existence the old ones considered incompatible with their plans for the world they created the saurus who became their soldiers as the climate warmed vast armies of lizardmen marched to do war with those native races the old ones wished removed fighting a devastating series of wars long ago passed from memory. That sounds like that could be a little foreshadowing there. So the Lizardmen have gone to war with a bunch of native races that the Old Ones didn't like. Which means that the plan, and if they went to war, then that means these were obviously sentient creatures with a civilization and armies and things to fight for and fight back against. Sounds like we got a whole new history of fantasy battle just waiting to be told. Under the guidance of the Old Ones, 
The world became a paradise. They created, as they had elsewhere, servants to tend their needs. The first spawning of the slan mage priests came into being. These were the grand viziers, the old ones trusted companions who would administer their realms and guide the lesser beings in their development. The slan were the only beings able to withstand the presence of the godlike old ones. Beings themselves, being themselves creatures of prodigious intellect and magical power. As the Saurus went about their task, so the old ones ordered the next phase of their plans, and the quick-witted and nimble skinks were spawned to serve as the artisans and administrators of their new empire. Also at this time, the Croxagore were spawned, mighty lizardmen upon whom labor the first of the mighty temple cities would be built. For the initial fastness established in the lust equatorial jungles of the region that would become Lustria, the lizardmen built cities and other structures across the entire gold globe, such as a vital nexus in a world-spanning web of arcane power. <clears throat> so the ley lines of the planet, or the ones which the uh, elves study, uh, especially on that island with the little sink, were created by the lizardmen themselves. Well, by the slan, actually. And Croxagores. The next stage of the Old One's plan was the realignment of the tectonic plates. From the single mega continent revealed by the retreat of the ice sheets, the Old Ones set into motion a plan that would say, see the formation of entirely new lands and seas making the world conform to an established pattern compatible with their ends. This realignment would take many millennia, none other than the old ones knowing its final form and purpose. Okay, I, I, I'm reading this for the first time with you guys, and I just got to say, well, first, the next part is going to be Discord in Paradise. But I just got to say, I'm going to put my hypothesis out there now. I think when the 40K universe has its end time, wolf time, whatever time you want to call it, where the, where the final battle happens on Apocalypse, that basically this planet here, the fantasy battle planet, is going to be somehow either the new start or the retreat or something that carries on after the end time in 40k. It's some little last out of the way place that whoop, the last few of the survivors, when everybody else is burned to dust, everybody else is gone, whatever, this is the last refuge, you could say, of the races. Just my guess. But until next time, I will see you then. Bye.